What's up, people? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your outlines look much better. So, I'm not reading painting this video, just a tutorial on outlining. So, I'm going to be explaining everything into and about outlining, on getting a smooth outline and all that stuff. So, before we head right to the video, damn it! Smash that like button and subscribe. So, I had some people think subscribing costs you some form of cash. And that's really strange. I don't know about that talk. Subscribing is just like a form of getting notified when I post a new video. If you like my videos and you want to see more of it, you can subscribe and always get notified when I post a video. So that's just what it is. You're not spending money. Okay. So as you can see, I've reduced my photo opacity so I can actually see what I'm drawing in the outline. So now I'm quickly a layer above the photo layer and I'm using the technical pen. Streamlining is set to 50% and what streamlining actually does it when you draw lines, it makes your lines smoother and to actually get a smoother line you have to kind of add a little bit of speed when you are drawing these lines that's just one of the techniques and one of the tricks you add a little bit of speed when you are drawing the line and the line is going to get smoother than when you draw it slowly another thing I'd like to mention is when you are drawing outlines you have to use a brush size that is quite convenient like a brush that is not too big and not too tiny just medium sized brush so that's what you actually have to use to draw your lines so that your lines won't look too tiny because when it's too tiny you can barely get it right but when it's a little bit big you can easily continue your outlines from where you stop i don't know if you can understand what i'm trying to say like when your line is big enough you can actually use your pen to continue from where you actually stop the line before but when it's too small your outline is going to look rough that's just that's just really that just really is don't mind me right now i'm feeling kind of testy so i can't just speak out clearly but i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say use a bigger brush size but not too small not too big in that way okay so when i'm doing my outlines i actually have a process i follow when doing my outlines i start off from the outer parts of the picture first so just so i won't get myself confused i saw the outer part that's the edges of the picture every edge i draw every edge of the picture out first so that's a great step to start out with first and also if you're on ipad and you're using a pen don't be scared to put your palm on the screen like some people do try to prevent their palm from touching the screen because maybe when you when your palm touches the screen you might end up drawing on the screen because when you buy your ipad and the pen the and open up the procreate app, you can actually draw with your thumb or whatever that's if you don't have a pen so you actually have to go into your preferences gestures and turn off that in the settings so you can freely start drawing without budging that your skin is going to touch the screen and destroy your whole work so right now i'm just showing you guys i can draw with my index finger there and i'm going to turn it off so i can actually not draw my index finger or any part of my skin i can just draw freely without budging so that's gonna make your work look better because you're gonna be a little bit relaxed for me i think that's gonna make you much relaxed doing this so first step in doing this don't be under pressure please just relax take a chill and draw what you see you don't have to draw it exact your goals are trying to make it look smooth or even better than the original picture so also you can sometimes some lines might be stressful to draw when you're trying to trace that line so you, you just feel free to pan around your ipad or pan around the screen while drawing this stuff so that actually makes your lines look smooth so when you change the angle of your screen to get a better line like all that stuff here yeah, it helps in making your work look smooth so if you want to get a line with pointy edges pointing the beginning and pointing the end and you're using a pressure brush the way you get this is by like you slightly reduce the pressure you add while drawing the, the lines so as you can see now i'm drawing this line just with a single pressure it just looks so thick or true so, but the second line i'm drawing i drew it like with less pressure in the beginning then added more pressure in the middle then less pressure at the end of it so that's how you get this pointy line just practice it and you will get used to it over time So also if you are doing this with a mobile device, I 
I was using I, I was using Infinite Design and Infinite Painter for my drawings on mobile. You can as well use Autodesk Sketchbook and maybe um what the hell is up? Paint Ibis X Paint. I can't remember the, the real name of that app. So you can use this app to do your outlines on painting on mobile. So this is the Infinite Design app. And if you notice why I'm doing my outlines over here. I usually try to try as much as possible to connect each line together. I start the next line from like around the middle of where I stop the other line. Like the next line I'm about to jump start is from in between the previous line to connect it all together. So there's no space in the line, this they are all connected together. So if your lines on infinite design aren't straight enough, you can use the lazy tool, lazy tool on infinite design called lazy. You can use that tool to like make your lines smooth it's, it's almost similar to what's on um what's on the ipad the the streamlining on the procreate is almost similar to that so well that's what it is on mobile you can use your mobile device to draw really smooth outlines too well yet if you're not satisfied with your lines on the mobile even design you can use a tool called paint a pen tool you can just click through your click and drag through your your picture and it automatically makes smooth lines for you when you tap on the line it gets it turns a sharp line when you drag the line it turns into a curvy line so that's how that works well i used to draw with my thumb on mobile i don't know if people believe that i used to draw my thumb i don't use my index when i have to draw i draw my thumb so i'm going to show you guys how this picture on mobile turned out by the end of this video but let's head back to the tutorial on ipad bit whatever app you use mobile laptop ipads whatever you use you just have to it's all the same procedure you just get the concept the idea of what we are trying to achieve and it's all gonna work out fine so my own style i have a process and always try to connect every single freaking line together connect your lines together that's just what it is connect your lines together to make your line smooth every line should be joined together there shouldn't be a space or some parts shouldn't be smaller and some parts looking bigger you have to be consistent be consistent with the line you are using to draw so that's just what it is there and also the point is why you draw the outer parts you might use a thicker brush but why are doing these details the tiny details like maybe clots and some some details you can reduce your brush size because you can't use a bigger brush size outside and also use an even bigger brush size inside for little details because that's just going to look really odd so you have to use a smaller brush while drawing some tiny details and bigger brush size while drawing some kind of obvious details on the picture so i'm just going to cut all this stuff and head right into the hair which is quite a complicating stuff so hair very complicating stuff but i don't know it's kind of less complicated for me well, how i draw my i use the usual technical pen and i just sketch the the edges of the hair first that's why i divide. sketch out the edges of the hair with tiny with a tinier brush size just to like i use this kind of curve to sketch out the edges of the hair doesn't have, it doesn't really have to be what you are seeing on the picture because you can't really trace it exactly from what you're seeing in the picture so you just have to use your imagination sometimes to get your work looking good so for me i trace out i sketch the edges of the hair first just to get that curvy nature and smooth nature there using a small size brush i don't know if i mentioned but i kind of worked in the female hair salon before so maybe that's why i have this idea so you can swear your slant from this sketch the edges of the face then you can later go back and add more details on the darker parts so every hair and the pattern at which you draw the hair for this hair i'm just gonna fill up the whole hair with black and if it's a kind of curly hair, I won't bother detailing the whole hair with a lot of lines because that's going to make your hair look rough. So the trick is that you just pick out the most visible parts of the hair and draw those parts. So 
that's what you do when right? joining. You don't have to sketch out every single detail of the hair. It makes me look like she's going crazy. You just draw out the main parts of the hair, which are very visible. So after adding the main parts of the hair, then you can start adding little details on the hair. There. You can see this hair looks nice already. So right now, I filled up the hair with black. And another tip is, whenever you make a new step, always go back and check what you are doing. So you see if it's looking nice. If it's not looking nice, you can erase it before it's too late. So what I'm trying to do here now, I'm trying to make the hairlines I already made before look darker and thick. So always check what you are doing because you don't want to end up drawing almost the old picture, then you later remove the picture in the background and check out the, your work and it's looking really messed up. You're just going to get frustrated and this is going to be great. So always check what you are doing regularly. Alright, so looking at our eyebrows here. I'm using the technical pen with the opacity reduced down and my size also reduced down. When I'm drawing the face, I use a smaller size of a brush when I'm drawing the face of the picture. So I'm just I just sketched through the eyebrows like the way you just saw me do. So I'm sketching string by string. You can just try and imitate exactly what I'm doing here with eyebrows. I reduce the opacity down and I'm sketching string by string with a tinier brush size. So for the Eyelashes, do I draw eyelashes usually? I use the opacity up with a small sized brush and I draw my eyelashes like the anime kind of eyelash. I think I've mentioned this before in my previous videos. I draw my eyelashes like the anime kind of eyelash. This is actually how I draw in real life when I use paper, pen and paper to draw. This is actually how I draw. Um, I draw like anime kind of drawings. So your pattern of drawings obviously gonna reflect on your artworks. So you kind of have need to have an idea on how to draw on paper if you want to do this. If you don't have any idea of how to draw on paper, you can actually see try to do this because this is not actually imaginative drawing. You can try to trace this is just tracing, but it's kind of complicated because you still need to have the idea. So you just you can still grab these ideas from these videos we make on YouTube. So that's why I'm just making these videos. You can grab the idea from this if you are learning how to do this on. Procreate or on any other app. This tutorial is not only for those in Procreate, it's for just for anybody that is willing to learn this. So for the eyeballs, I didn't mention. So sorry, under the eyelids, I don't connect the under of the eyelids. So for the nose, I don't draw my whole nose. I just draw the bottom part of the nose, the bottom edges of the nose. I don't want to make. I don't draw in between the eyes that part of the nose. That's gonna make it look. I don't. That, that's not just my style of drawing. So for the lips too, using a smaller brush size, I'm just tracing, I usually trace the inner parts of the lips first, then if I trace out the outer parts of the lip. And for this picture, she's kind of on a Halloween kind of costume with the painting on her face. So this isn't really going to describe how I draw my lips because I'm just tracing both the costume and the original lip there. So I also wanted to mention something. Okay, after drawing the lips, let me just uh, let me just explain this. After drawing the lips, I actually draw the under of the lips with the actually adds more thicker shadings on the bottom part of the lip when I'm drawing that part. Then for the top part of the lip, I don't really add a long line, I usually use a smaller line to draw the top part of the lips. So what I want to say before again. Oh oh yeah. Um I want to mention the folds on the human face, folds on the cheek when they have a wide smile and also the folds on people's eye bags so you don't really add those folds on using the outline i usually add those folds while i'm shading the picture if i add those folds while i'm doing the outline it's gonna make that person look old so we don't make them look old we are trying to make a beautiful artwork so you can do those folds on the shading so now looking at the teeth i'm not going to over detail the teeth because that's going to make the teeth look like um it's about to fall off i don't know it's just going to look kind of weird so i don't over detail the teeth i just use mini details and i'm not going i don't usually draw the teeth lines like i only draw the bottom of the teeth like the collision of the teeth does that make sense the collision of the teeth i don't draw the in-between lines of the teeth here so i'm done with this outline and it looks incredible i swear down it looks incredible so you can actually do an outline like this just watch these videos and practice it you can do something like this or even better so Let's look at mobile. So we can actually see the one I did on mobile actually turned out just as good as the one on iPad. 
I actually just follow the same technique I use on iPad on mobile too. So it doesn't really matter. I can use whatever device to make good artworks. So this is actually how the picture turned out finally and I'm in love with this workman. So it turned out very nice and that's just how I made the outline. Later I'll play the video of how I made the painting of this artwork. So well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you destroy that like button because that has a lot of support for me and subscribe, don't be scared, subscribe. <laughs> also leave a comment on your favorite software or application for making this incredible artworks let's just have a little chat okay